Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to give you a quick how to to change your drive serial numbers, also known as spoofing. This guide is specifically for Windows 10, but can be performed similarly on other Windows devices. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download a small utility directly from Microsoft. It's called Volume ID. You're going to want version 2.1 or better. Um, on this page, there are two versions. I know it says uh, on the bottom one, Windows Vista or higher. But for me, I just downloaded the top one. It worked just fine for Windows 10. So I'm downloading it directly to my desktop. You can send it anywhere you want. All right, now that I got it here, I'm going to extract it. I'm going to delete the original RAR file. And I'm going to take that uh, folder for the volume ID and I'm going to place it on my C drive. That will allow me to access it easily later in this guide. There's not much to this utility. These are the files that are included. The next step, we're going to hold down the Windows key plus R to open the run window. After that, we're going to type CMD. Instead of just hitting enter, you're going to control shift enter to open as an administrator. Then you're going to swap to the C drive by typing CD space forward slash and then type VOL to check the current serial number. And there it is. After checking the serial number, we're then going to change directories to the volume ID directory where we saved it earlier. Do this by typing CD space forward slash volume ID. Now we're going to enter the command that will actually change your serial number of your drive. The command is volume ID space drive letter colon space four digits dash four more digits. The digits you choose can be letters or numbers. And if you've done everything correctly, you will get confirmation that your drive serial is updated. Although we have updated the serial number for the drive, we must completely shut down and restart Windows for Windows to recognize the new serial number. And now we're back after the restart. Again, press Windows key plus R to open the run window. Type CMD. Here you can just press enter. You don't need to be in administrative mode. Uh, type VOL to verify the serial number. And there you have it, your new serial number. 